Hi Capricorns, it's Rachel Navy, aka Villagia Strega for those of you who do not know me, and this is your 2021 forecast. Uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, will not resonate with everyone, so take what does and leave the rest please. And um, I gotta tell you, if you're a cross watcher, you're in for a treat in Capricorn before this reading even begins, <coughs> pardon me, before this thing even starts Capricorn. You all, I'm picking up the energy that you all are just fed up. You guys are like, I have been through enough shit in 2020, thank you very much, and now I'm just pissed. A lot. Some. Perhaps. Some are taking the attitude of, uh, if you don't like it, tough shit. If uh, you've pissed a Capricorn off, you better be advised, you, you better be aware, and consider this your warning, that they are on a mission. And if you know anything about Capricorns, you know when a Capricorn makes up their mind, they're as determined as fuck. They don't care. They're going to mow you over. If they're done with you, they're done with you. And they're going to let you know and everybody else know that they're done with you. If Capricorn has had enough of a situation and they are ready to move on, not only are they moving on, but they are packing their bags and your bags and and. Everything else in between because they are done with the situation. Capricorn, this year, uh, these readings are, the musical themes are popping up. And you're somewhere between getting the let out. I want to say like when the levee breaks is when I'm picking up. But the biggest one song I'm getting for Capricorns right now is Jill Scott, Hate on Me Haters. So don't be surprised if that ends up in the title and description in below. Because that is the energy. That is, that is the tenseness. I'm getting from Capricorns right now. I'm getting the energy of, you don't like it? Okay, now I'm going to show you who I really am. Not that Capricorns have a hard time ever showing anybody who they are. But Capricorns have a lifestyle to maintain. They like what they like. They like things in order. And they, they, they have big hearts, yes. But if you fuck with their career... If you mess with their money or you mess with their heart and they have had enough of it, game on. And Capricorn is saying 2021, I'm not getting walked on anymore. They've had a lot of blessings, I think, in, in 2020, but now they are fed up. <laughs> so, Capricorns, let's see what we get here. We're going to ask, thank you, what does Capricorn need to know in 2021 thank you starting out with your card being temperance temperance of course is the card of having faith of having patience in a situation maybe keeping with tr tradition you are also getting five of swords crossing you hmm there's the conflict right Something, some battle has been occurred, Capricorn, and all you can do is pick up what pieces remain and head on home. Move forward. Let's see what's above Capricorn for 2021. Yeah, we've got some stuck energy, right? This is what they're fed up with, I'm sure. And we've got above you is Eight of, eight of Swords. What's below you is the Page of Cups. So if Capricorn can get out of their head, it shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't take too long for Capricorn to realize they're not as stuck as they think they are. They're not as blocked as they think they are. They will indeed embrace whatever new is coming with a sense of childlike wonderment. Now this could also represent that there's children involved in a situation, Capricorn. And that perhaps... Both they are seeing things as a new perspective and or that you yourself, Capricorn, are meeting whatever situation you are encountering with 2021 through, as if a childlike wonderment, as if a sense of newness, new emotional fulfillment, new journey perhaps is beginning. I think it is. I definitely see that happening for Capricorn. Nope, not taking those. All right, what's behind them? What are they so fed up with? What's Capricorn had enough of in, in, in 2020 and going into 2021, please? 
can probably turn the camera here for you, Capricorns, too, so you can you can see these cards a little bit better. See if that helps. Maybe a little bit, Mom. Huh? See what's happening for Capricorn. Where they been? Oop, there it goes. We've got two of cups energy. Okay. So perhaps there's been a relationship uh, this past year, Capricorn, where it's seen a lot of trials and tribulations. Now, this could be a romantic relationship. It could be also be a, uh, a friendship, platonic one, family one. Uh, but it's it's seen a lot of ups and downs. It's been very tumultuous. You know, at the end of the day, there, there was a lot of recovery. There was a lot of strength in that relationship gained. There was some courage involved uh, along the way. And perhaps the courage was to love and trust. What are you looking at <clears throat> ahead of you in the timeline here, Capricorn, is your page of pentacles energy. So some sort of act of generosity. Uh, bringing you a sense of abundance, someone offering a financial a financial uh, handout to you, perhaps. Maybe this is winning the lottery. Maybe it's an inheritance. Maybe it's some sort of financial gain for you, which Capricorns, they don't have a problem with at all. That's strange. Uh, especially when it comes to money. Because Capricorns do like their money. There it goes. Okay, just a moment. Let me grab that. It's right there. All right, what do we got? So your attitude, <laughs> your attitude indeed, Capricorn, is show me the money. Uh, Capricorn's attitude in 2021 is all about new financial investments, right? If you're starting a new business, Capricorn, which you may in fact be, this is that new doorway you're walking through. This is that new money the divine's handing to you and saying, go ahead, start something new. New career, uh, new job, new education, whatever it is that's going to bring you some, some financial security, some sort of abundance in your life. Divine's helping you out some. Let's see, Capricorn. What is the influence on the situation? Whew. Hey, it's a balancing act. You see some sort of problem coming this year. In 2021, Capricorn is seeing that, you know, there may be some choppy waters around. There may be some hard times around. And they've got to figure out how to balance their finance with their home life, finance with their their situation, whatever this new thing is, uh, relationships, etc. But they've got to figure out how, how to maneuver uh, in these new choppy seas here, or these old choppy seas. It's, it's some sort of uh, something you have some insight on, and, and friends may be there to help you out. Others are noticing that you need to, to balance things here. Your hopes and dreams. Well, you want to sit like the Queen of Pentacles. Of course you do, Capricorn. Why? Because this queen is stable in her finance. She is nurturing. She is compassionate. She is grounded energy which is what Capricorn loves. They love to be sure-footed. In 2021, it's going to be no exception for them. They will make this happen. Capricorn is looking, uh, is, is hoping for the financial security in, in 2021. If this was a relationship that where finances were concerned, uh, again, uh, this looks like Capricorn is, is is taking the leap of faith and going for something new that is going to bring that financial security. Yes, indeed. And then what is the overall outcome for the year for 2021, please, Capricorn? What's the overall outcome for 2021? We know Capricorn's not messing around, but it looks like you guys are getting some help along the way. Just got to get out of your head. Accept what is happening. There's something, some sort of change, of course, crossing your path, some sort of conflict you're not comfortable with. It's telling you to have patience on the situation. Yeah, you got to be the leader of your own own path here, uh, Capricorn. 
This is the, the King of Wands. King of Wands, of course, is our leader. He's our strategist. He is the one actively pursuing passions, careers, ideas, entrepreneurship. Uh, he is uh, taking a role uh, in, in setting forward the path, creating a new path. This could also be Leo energy. There may be some sort of Leo you're interacting with, Capricorn, or maybe you yourself have Leo in your chart uh, that is influencing your 2021 year yeah and you may need a little bit more rest along the way too we've got the four swords on the bottom for that recuperation time i'm going to pull three cards for the main themes for the year for capricorn as they say no more drama no more bullshit you can hate on me if you want to now or later but you're gonna do you capricorn says i'm gonna do me believe me Okay, we've got Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords was in reverse, though. So, again, uh, conflict. Some sort of conflict, some sort of miscommunication on things, but you're moving on from it, Capricorn. The communication will occur in 2021 where you will move on from whatever this conflict is. Uh, things will be cleared up for you, and it won't be, it probably won't be as bad as you thought it was. You're mustering up that strength, that's why. Yeah. Gordon says, I'm going to do me. Yeah, you got a lot of ideas you're sitting on, Capricorn. You got to put them into action. You may need some help, may need some counsel, uh, may need somebody to help you kind of navigate things here, put them in, into action. Uh, clarify things a little bit. The Page of Wands has a tendency to, to have all these wonderful potentials but lacks the performance. So make sure you get some help and support with that along the way too, Capricorn. One more, please. For Capricorn 2021. What does Spirit want Capricorns to know, please? What does Spirit want Capricorns to know? I'm going to tweak that a little bit more. What does Spirit want Capricorn to know for 2021? Thank you. we got Ten of Swords. Yeah. Something has come to an end. Not abruptly, too, Capricorn. Uh, this was something you kind of felt was going to happen. It, but it is the it's coming to an end. There's an end of a cycle here. There's a completion of something. And you want to make sure, Capricorn... Uh, as you're stepping out of your comfort zone in this, that uh, you're not staying stuck in your head, that you're meeting this newness with this Page of Wands energy, that you're meeting what's coming next with this King of Wands energy. And with this, yes, absolutely, financial stability, Queen of, Queen of Pentacles energy. You're lined all up for the potential. You've got all the potential right here. Capricorn, you got to be a little bit patient. You got to clear up some communication issues and then you are good to go. Let's see if angels have a message for you, Capricorn, for 2021. Thank you, Spirit. What is it? One more, please. For what Capricorn's. There goes another one flying. Capricorn needs to know. Hang on. Does Capricorn need to know? You got clear cognizance. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. I'm going to take this Capricorn uh, as not only do thoughts become things, but your ideas are coming to you for a reason. Like those, those nagging thoughts are there for a reason. And those are going to be the answers, yes, not only to your prayers, but to solve problems along the way. They're my sure-footed sure friends. Let me do one more. If you don't mind for Capricorns. Some Capricorns, a lot of Capricorns, because they they also tend to have a lot of high psychic abilities, especially the ones that are closer to the Aquarius cusp. They they get a lot of their um, answers through dreams. Most people, spirit connects in dreams anyways, but Capricorns are particularly prone to it. It says, all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hitting blessings, you will soon understand. Again, going back to this temperance card, Capricorn, have faith, trust. Maybe it's your, it's your 
mission on this planet in this lifetime to invest in faith. You might want to check your north node with that, uh, Capricorn. But what this is expressing definitely for 2021 is while it may have been rough, it may be rough going for a little bit, uh, it may be news you don't always want to hear, you have to get out of that mindset of of stubbornness and lack of lack of confidence at times so that because you are a capricorn right you must feel self-empowered this year you must step into your power have that self-confidence and recognize spirit has your back co-create go have fun capricorn don't let nothing and nobody stand in your way blessed be i wish you all a happy new year thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have a situation or challenge in your life that you would like more clarification on feel free to reach out to me all my information is in the description below or at my at my channel in the about section take care